Why do we feel lonely? Why do we feel isolated? Loneliness has become an issue for many countries and societies. But have we questioned that? Is that really an issue or not? Why do we feel lonely? Why do we feel isolated? Actually, it's only an, a symptom we have shown, but probably need to delve into it to understand our life a little more. Many of us can't afford to be alone. They are seeking company from somebody else, want to be together with somebody else. But at some time, when we are really together with somebody, we want to be alone. We can't afford the conflict between people, which is full of bitterness and misery. Have you ever noticed this kind of phenomenon, which is taking place every day, and especially now, across the world, people are becoming more and more individual. Finding it difficult to communicate with other people because it's so, so easy to be hurt. At some time, people are craving for being together. Have we ever noticed that our lifestyle is full of stimulation? We are always seeking stimulation in all kinds of ways. Look at this world, the all kinds of entertainment. Look at the media, the all kinds of programs are made to attract your attention. Why do we live such a life fully depending on stimulation? If life has no stimulation, the life would have become very boring, would it? Feeling bored is the consequence of the cutting off of the stimulation. Just like we are taking drugs, and when the drug is taken away, we feel bad. So our life is drugged by all kinds of stimulant. And loneliness, feeling lonely, is the consequence of the lack of stimulation in life. So probably we need to ask ourselves, can we live a life without depending on stimulation? Can we find the inner order to bring peace and calm without relying on any external stimulation? Why should we be entertained all the time? Why can't we entertain ourselves by ourselves? The very act of answering this question is the journey of meditation. We turn inward, we examine the mind, examine all kinds of conditionings. How can we free the mind from the conditions? And if you are really serious about this, this journey won't disappoint you. And it must be very rich, very fruitful. This is meditation.